My name is Jesse Ayala. I'm a creative director at Fourth Studios. So we help communities reclaim their narratives through representative storytelling in new media. What does this mean? So what our company really focuses on is getting out on the ground level with new technology and new mediums as they develop and showcase to those companies that are creating this the key opportunities that exist in including at the front different communities. It's making underrepresented a concept of the past. Authentically Us is a VR project made with Oculus's Creators Lab and the Pride Foundation. It's a series of films created for audiences to possibly meet for the first time a transgender person. When we started this project, we looked at kind of what virtual reality can do really well. And if you read any blogs or talk to any people, they'll tell you it's really good at taking you to places you've never been or getting you to embody something that you've never experienced. My name is Andres Rincon, and I am the Vice President of Sales and Strategic Partnerships at LA TV. We are a national TV cable network with digital and social media extensions. We have been in the marketplace for over 10 years, and we have been fully committed to our audience from the very beginning. Who's our audience? Well, our audience is the 200 percenters, those that are 100 percent American and 100 percent Latino. And we are connecting with Latinos by telling stories that are relatable and that are culturally relevant. We are a network that is producing content for Latinos by Latinos. One in five Latino millennials identified as LGBTQ. This is about 22% of our audience. We needed to listen and see the demographics of our audience and really create more in culture and inclusive content that was truly representative so that's when we launched Glitterbomb, an explosive co pop culture talk show by an old gay Latino cast. I'm Andy Taradat. I'm the CEO of Slay TV. Slay TV is a media agency, and we were founded with a mission to elevate the narrative of queer and trans people of color by creating and curating compelling video content. Our founders are two filmmakers, Terry and Sean Torrington, who had created two original web series. And they had developed this following across YouTube and um, Facebook and realized that they didn't want to be beholden to these platforms. So Slayfest is an inclusive celebration for queer, trans, and gender nonconforming people to express and embrace themselves unapologetically. Our mission is to remove social barriers and create interactions that empower self-affirming moments. We wanted to create a space that was reflecting a programming that was actually inclusive of everyone within the queer community. Queer speaks to the spectrum, and not just the letters. I'm the co-founder of Breakthrough Digital. Uh, we fell into the LGBTQ advertising space. We were a traditional digital media placement agency uh, that uh, started getting more and more requests from, from brands such as Illinois Tourism and U.S. Bank, on, and then also brands much smaller than them, regional car dealers and places like that, of how do we reach this demographic? We did a, uh, uh, and this is still an existing client of ours, Illinois Office of Tourism. They uh, gave us $16,000 for... Uh, uh, per month for this campaign. There's a huge component of LGBT streaming television as part of this uh, buy. We're targeting uh, Illinois plus most of the Midwest. Their goal was simply to book hotel rooms and we had to prove it. Uh, they've booked over $40,000 in hotel revenue within this state. So that's a two and a half time uh, return on ad spend. I'm Shana. And I'm Gabby. <laughs> and uh, we are 27 Travels. Since we started dating, we knew that we loved traveling right away. So we started traveling together. And about three years, like three years ago, we were like, hey, let's just like, you know, put some of our travel photos on our Instagram account. And it just started as like a really fun thing to do. But um, since then, it's kind of grown a little bit. Yeah, I think that's something we noticed right away was that we weren't seeing a lot of people like in our community at all, like other lesbians especially, traveling and being open about it. It was kind of something like, you know, we have friends and they'll go and they'll travel, but they never will post a lot about it. And we've seen that change a lot over the last three years, and it's really important for us to show other people in different places in the world that like you can travel and you can do all of the things that we're doing and you can make a safe space for yourself and, and be able to enjoy your life. I'm Jeff Perla. I am the founder and creator of The Traveling Bum. I actually was not out in the year 2016, so I decided to create this anonymous blog 
that I thought would appeal to gay men. I started sharing butt photos of myself, talking about my journey, figuring out that I'm gay, how do you tell your family? How do you tell your friends? Um, Elite Daily reached out to me and said, can we do an interview with you? And I was like freaking out because I knew it was gonna like out myself to the social media world, my grandparents, my aunt and uncle. I get on average about 1.1 million people viewing my stuff on a weekly basis. I found that my strong suit is working with gay pride parades to pitch a city and say, hey, I wanna feature local culture. Forever Dog is basically the go-to network for some of the best uh, at talent in the industry. We are uh, not only just a podcast company, we're a full production company. We develop podcasts from uh, concept through end of ex execution. Our talent reaches what we and you guys call that unreachable audience. So indicative of our success in the space, three of the nine queer teen nominees for best podcast 2018 were Forever Dog Podcasts. Who is not queer here? Who is straight here? That's okay, I have a cousin that's straight. So folks write into us on a, on a weekly basis. We pick the best and we answer the rest on our show. I'm sleeping with my best friend's father. Well, my co-worker's breath smells like a lobster roll and I don't know how to tell them. Which yes, are. yes. Someone you have to let in, let me in, at someone whose feelings you spare. Someone. Right now, in order to connect with your audience, you just need to understand how to get in touch with them. So social cue is social queen, social queer, but above all, it's social cues and how we need to reclaim social cues currently, especially as advertisers and marketers. Brands can no longer be passive, and when we show, when we present social cue, we want to be part of that active conversation. You need to surround yourself with, as a brand with people, with advertise, advertisers, marketers that understand your brand at the core, because they are most likely to understand the audience and to connect with your audience. So as an agency, we stand for branding, presence, and reach. That resonates. So let's resonate let's together. And so what is I Love Gay? We've created this entire system that's all based upon really focusing on the niche, whether it's I Love Gay movies, I Love Gay India. What we're doing is we're kind of out there in the same sandbox as a lot of the influencers. Influence is an outcome, it's not necessarily a profession. And our network kind of works side by side with a lot of these folks, and this is what it looks like. They post, they tag. So we're measuring these things on a regular basis, and you're able to see kind of what kind of reach you have and so forth. It's all about your content.